Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for a random rant. And today's random rant is about the lack of customer service in today's new world. I don't know what's up with it. Um, it's an interesting deal. I went to a few different stores today and it's just amazing how lousy the service is. I don't understand how they're still in business. I really don't. Um, with the ability of shopping online, Amazon's free two-day shipping, sometimes same-day shipping, everything else involved here. I forbid you to move over there a little bit, buddy. Completely empty road, but yeah, you still got a crowd. Makes no damn sense. But anyway, um, so I took off today. Um, I don't do a lot of shopping. I'm, I don't. I don't buy a lot of frivolous crap. I rarely ever go out and spend money on stuff. I buy cigars in a retail shop if I'm at one. And mostly I buy cigars online. I buy stuff on Amazon. And I even often find myself many times not shopping the third party crappier like Wish websites and stuff because I just don't want to deal with the hassle of returns or anything else. Even if it's like 20% less, I'll just pay it on Amazon. I'll pay an extra 20% on Amazon. I don't give a shit because I know the return's there. I know if the item don't show up, I'm going to get a refund. All that good fun stuff involved in it. And it just makes a difference to me because I am very big on the whole concept of not wanting to deal with hassle. That's my goal. I don't want to deal with hassle. And even like the other day, I bought myself a um, soft-sided hot tub, which the brand that I had before that had like years now four years like that five years worked flawlessly finally gave up the ghost and they're out of stock everywhere i don't know if they're not making it anymore or if just they've sold out i don't know what's up with it so i ended up going to the off brand bought it through sam's club which is not a big deal uh had it shipped to the house and it's garbage it doesn't hold temperature it's noisy as hell all that kind of stuff so i can't take it back to the sam's club store because i bought it at sam's club online so i have to send it back but it doesn't fit back in the box and again amazon ain't that way amazon doesn't send it back but Amazon didn't have this item that so I was like well I'll try this one da, 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 whatever so anyway the back to the story I decided today I need to go buy a knee brace so I go up to a um, big box store um, out Academy or something it was I'm not sure which one I think it was Academy but I go up there and I walk in and there's a couple built the cash register and they say hi they don't say hey can I point you somewhere do you need directions like that just you know basically make that eye contact which often they're told to do because people are less likely to steal if they um, are, you know, feel like somebody looked them in the eye and says, I'm doing it. It's just, it's studies it's done all the time. So I had somebody look me in the eye and, and said something to me. That's it. So I went around the store looking for knee braces. Don't spot them. I see a couple different employees and basically I find senior stuff. I didn't really, I'm not the guy that walks in immediately and says, hey, where is this item? I don't always do that because one, I want to look around kind of. One of those stores, like I said, it's been months since I've just wandered around a store. I actually did that back. I went probably about a month ago. I went and wandered around a couple stores and didn't find anything I wanted. So I gave up and now like another month later. So, but it was six months before that since I actually just wandered around a store shopping, you know, kind of thing. So went ahead and went around a little bit in the process. Um, finally found somebody, told them I was looking for new braces, whatever. And their answer is, oh, over there and that way. And I'm like, that way? That's the best direction you give me? And I'm like, yeah, he goes, you'll see, you'll see it. And I'm like, okay, not an idle number, not nothing, like just that way. So I head that way and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Don't see it. So I head that way, I don't see it as I'm going around the store. And then basically I find somebody else who I ask them where they have them. And there I said, oh, it's over here by treadmills and stuff, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So I head over there, I'm thinking, oh, over by treadmills, can't be that hard to find. So I go there, find them. Again, not, let me walk you there, let me show you what kind of knee brace do you need. You know anything about knee braces? Let me call Tammy. She's our knee brace expert, none of that shit. So I go there stuff, I find one that might work. Nothing like what I wanted, but it is what it is. I get it. And then from there, I head out and um, went to another store. I was like, well, I'll go check out a, a um, especially running store. I'm like, I'll go give it a shot. And then, because I thought, well, especially realty or running store, they'll have more knowledge. They'll have more, you know, concept of this whole thing. So it'd be good to go there and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, we got this thing. So I basically went ahead and head over to there and I walk in, there's a couple guys in the shop and um, I don't know, mid twenties, probably something like that. So I basically hanging out there for a minute and just kind of chilling out. And 
ask them, hey, do you guys have knee braces? Hey, I've got some over here. And they don't have knee braces. They have knee, knee sleeves. They're those little compression band things. They're not real braces. They're not worth a shit. And it kind of is what it is. So I'm like, hey, whatever, no big deal. Went ahead and asked them also. I said, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. You know, you might, I might be able to find the other one. And you know, the other style. And they're like, no, maybe you like Walgreens. And I'm like, I don't really think Walgreens is gonna be what I'm looking for, but okay, whatever. So I asked him also if they had any um, shoes okay. that I was looking for. Okay. The brand of shoes that I wear is an Ultra. They're a zero drop running shoe. And I was wearing an old pair on my feet that I walk around that ran them years ago. And he's like, yeah, we got them right here, we carry those. I said, okay, cool. He goes, what kind are you looking for? I said, oh, I like any of their shoes. I like all their shoes, except I don't like the Torrens. The Torrens I've never had a, been a fan of. I've tried multiple, other, you know, they change them every once in a while. Never liked them. So basically, show me what else you got, not Torrens. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, kind of the same stuff. He goes, oh, I got these new Torrens in. I'm like, excuse me? He goes, well, didn't you say you like Torrens? I'm like, no, you don't listen to you. I'm like, I said, I wear every shoe they make, except I don't want to, I don't want a Torrent. It's just something about the Torrents, they don't fit my feet. I've tried three different versions of them and they never work. So, which sucks because I like the tread pattern, like a lot of things about them and stuff. And he's like, oh, okay. So we look around a couple of shoes. At that point, he just gave up on help me kind of thing. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I was like, you know, no problem. So didn't ask me what kind of running to do. Didn't ask, you know, are you running for distance? Are you on dirt? Are you in sand? Are you, you know, are you in the swampy area? Are you on concrete? Are you road distance? Are you marathon or ultra marathon? Didn't ask none of this shit. I'm like, those are things you should be asking. You're especially running store. Those are questions you should know. Do you have, you know, do you, did your foot, are you more likely to pronate or, you know, I just, yeah, all that stuff should be asked. So I'm paying you guys full retail price at this thing, trying to go to the specialty shop to get help. Eh, nothing. I said, well, let me try that pair there. Let me try with those in 11 and a half. And the guy's like, oh, I don't think you're 11 and a half. I'm like, I think I am. So I flip my tongue up my shoe and it's so wore out. You can probably see it, but I'm like, it says 11 and a half. And he's serious. He's looking at my tongue on my shoe. He goes, says 10 and a half. I said, yeah, 10 and a half in UK. Feel free to bring me one of those if you want. A 10 and a half in UK which is 11 and a half in American. And he's like, oh, okay. So he goes back, comes back with the shoe. By the way, comes back with the wrong shoe, not the shoe I held up that we were looking, looking at. Comes back with another shoe, similar model, but different one. And it comes back and it's bright ass, like road cone orange. The one I handed him was a nice subtle gray. Same as what was on my feet at the time, was a nice subtle gray. Comes back with this road cone orange shoe. And I'm like, wow, first thing out of my mouth. And I'm like, do you have that like, in a non road cone orange? He looked at me weird like, what does those matter? Like, well, these become my daily shoes, not just my walking around, they become my walk around shoes. And I'm like, those aren't even the one I looked at that I showed you. He goes, yeah, and I said, he goes, I, said I showed you the gray ones. Those match the blue ones. He goes, no, these are the same as when you held up. And I'm like, it's not. The one I have says X, your box says Y. And he goes, oh, well, they're, they're virtually the same shoe. And I go, do you not have the other shoe? And do you not have it in anything besides orange? And he's like, well, they're virtually the same shoe. And I go, okay, do you have the other shoe in my size? And do you have this shoe, if you don't, in anything besides orange? And he said, oh, they're basically the same size. And I go, okay, they're basically the same shoe. And I said, oh, okay, I guess I'll try this one on. So I try it on and he's filling all around getting the lace all right. And I'm like, I don't. Just hand me the shoe, please. I'm like, what the hell? At this point, I decided, I'm fucking done. I'm not dealing with you people. Like, I've asked, you won't, even, you won't even say, no, we don't have it. We can't get it. We don't have it. Orange all that comes in, blah, blah, blah. Admit you screwed up. You carried back the wrong shoe. You're unwilling to walk the other 13 or 22 steps back to the back room to grab the shoe I asked for to see it. And I'm like, why am I dealing with you people? I'm here trying to pay you my money, trying to spend, by the way, 150 bucks a shoe. Is what I'm looking at buying these damn things for. And I'm trying to give you the money, and I want to give you the money, but I have no luck because you're not allowing me to help you in this process. And it just absolutely is just like, what the hell? If I'm going to deal with this shit, I could go online to running warehouse or whatever, or possibly Amazon. I don't know if Amazon sells with Ultra or not, but it is what it is. And the main reason I was coming here is, again, because I thought, hey, I'm going to get some real answers, and maybe, maybe they're going to know of a local running trail. Maybe they're going to a local running group. Maybe they're going to something. You know, I can work with this whole thing and kind of get some knowledge out of this. I'm going to drop 150 bucks because right now running warehouse don't really have any sales going on because I don't know if they're making less shoes since the, everything's going on after the whole world shut down. Everybody took up running. So now, I used to buy all my shoes. They were last year's model, year after model, even sometimes two years old. And I would buy them for 60% off. Didn't give a shit. I'd buy six pairs at a time. Didn't care because I don't give a damn what year they come out. They're still good shoes. I wear them. I'm good with it. Rotated man, I'm all good to go. Well, I've ran out of all that stock and I can't find clearance shoes anywhere. So now I'm stuck paying full price. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna pay full price at Running Warehouse, I might as well 
go pay full price at a local retail shop and actually get assistance, get help. Get somebody that can make sure my shoe is fitted properly and if there's any new you know, information. But no, this guy is not willing to help me. And I just like, you know, have yourself a good day. So basically, he's like, the hell with this. So I put my, basically, put my old shoes back on, headed out the door. I'm like, no big deal. So then I head over to um, Dick's Sporting Goods and walk into Dick's, same thing. Somebody at the cash register says, hello. I say, hi. I walk through, they're checking out a couple people, no big deal. Wander around the store for a little bit and don't see any uh, knee braces anywhere. I'll go back, check my treadmill, thinking, oh, maybe like, you know, the other one, nope. Go find the shoes, looking for running shoes. They don't have ultras. They got some Brooks, but the Brooks they have feel like the, the low-end Brooks. I've had Brooks before. They have like their Walmart and they have their Target brands. Basically, they get the, they get, looks like the same shoe, but it's not the same quality. So it's a little different shoe. So I was like, no, I'm good there. I don't need to spend that. And it's only 50 bucks cheaper. So get the shoe I really want. So I went ahead and again, nobody's there to help me. Nobody's there to assist me, nothing. So I'm like, well, the hell with it. So went ahead from there, went around, finally found an employee after the other ones that the same thing felt like they were they would see you kind of coming towards them and then they would at that point um, walk the other direction it was like i'm certain it wasn't the case it was just that's how it happened but when you have you as you're walking kind of through an area and you see a couple of people and they're standing there doing nothing and you watch them for quite a while and then as you turn their direction and you go to walk directly at them they turn and walk away and that happens multiple times like i'm looking at shirts and they're standing there for you know four or five minutes and then i turn to go look to talk, speak to them and they turn right as i turn towards them they turn and walk away and i'm like oh, what the hell's going on so i finally get somebody to tell me you know do you have knee braces oh yeah they're up in that corner that corner i'm at the, this place is you know twelve thousand square feet whatever like whatever so i head up finally find them look around same shit that everybody's had nothing i could use nothing worthwhile and i walk out without spending a dime so i've now just went into three shops where they just i couldn't get help i'm just like what the hell and this is this is my experience now in this world that seems to happen quite often so a lot of times i find myself buying more and more on amazon and just i just don't care i just i don't see that's not how it was i had i owned retail for about uh, well over a decade i don't know it was quite 15 years but well over a decade i owned a retail shop um a couple different retail shops actually but customer service is the thing even i know everybody liked me i'll give you that i guarantee there's people out there who didn't like me just because of the fact that i cussed and i used words that they didn't like and i said things that weren't right and whatever and whatnot and it is what it is but i don't give a shit like i at least was there i asked them hey can, you, can i help you do you need assistance anything nope nobody gives a damn i just i don't see how anybody stays in business right now because we're all going more and more to this world of Amazon and it's going to suck because there's going to be times where I'm going to need a running store locally because I'm traveling or whatever and I'm going to lose my shoes and airport security has, you know, whatever the baggage claim or some shit eats my shoes or a pair gets stolen from my hotel room or whatever. I'm going to need to walk into a store, buy a pair of shoes and no, there's nothing to be there. So I got to wait two days for Amazon to ship me a pair and if I'm somewhere else, I, that, I might not be there for two days. So now I can spend the rest of my trip without shoes because... I don't have a good pair of running shoes because nobody, I go to Walmart. I don't want a pair of those shoes. That's all I want. But I try to support local businesses and they make it almost impossible to support because they won't help you. And at some point I realized, that was nice. I realized I'm not willing to support something that doesn't give me any benefit at all. Like I just like, no. You got inferior products, you got less selection, you got the ability, I mean, it took me, I had to walk around the store twice to find somebody that could tell me which way to go. Where on Amazon, I punch in knee brace, ACL tear, and boom, pops up. I got seven of them popped there. Have it at my door two days later. So, kind of is what it is in the world. It's a sad state, but that's what it is. So, if you are a person who's in retail and you have a mental toothache, talk to your management, talk to your boss, talk to find out whatever it is, to what you guys need to make it better because there's people out there there's people like me i love to go shop there's a little hardware store i shop down the road here from my house i pay more for them there than i do at menards home depot you know lowe's that kind of crap and i don't care don't give a damn i'll happily pay more and i'll even pay above asking often on stuff because i don't care that's what it was because the service is great people are there to help you people ask you you know how you doing and they care they want to know the answer i'm like awesome it's, it's just amazing setup and it is what it is so yeah um those little shops spend as much money as you possibly can in them because 
without those little shops we don't have we don't have any um, sense of community in the world anymore so go find your little local shops and support them and have yourself a safe and wonderful day and do your best to not be one of those people if you're one of the ones working retail and you're just cranky and you don't want to help anybody and you're just there plugging in the hours because nothing matters it does matter it matters to some people out there who are literally the point of never shopping at a retail store again ever because your service sucked and you might think all oh, that one sale that buying a not selling me a 180 dollar brace for my knee or not selling me a 150 dollar pair of shoes isn't going to affect your life you don't get commission you don't care but eventually that place is going to close down and there won't be anybody else there shopping either because you needed my 150 bucks for my 185 dollars that knee brace to make the little extra profit that week take that times 10 guess what now the place is out of business and now you're digging ditches or mowing lawns or doing whatever their job out in the world that you might not actually want to do so anyway it's all i got for now we'll talk to you guys hopefully not that soon because i don't want to deal with the random rants but it is what it is and you guys be safe have yourself a safe wonderful day and thanks for watching